Welcome, here I've got Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera pro mode at this device. So at first we have to tap on the camera button here to open it. And as you can see for now we are in the standard photo mode. So let's change it, we can do it by using this settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. And here we have access to other modes of this camera, one of this is the pro mode, so let's tap on this. Here we are, the pro mode gives us possibilities to choose shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills and making experiments. So let me start with this settings bar and let's go from the left. The first one button here is the ISO, so we can control the camera's sensitivity to light. As you can see we have access to this slider and from the left we can make it less sensitive from 50 by going to the end to right we go to 3 and 2000 so uh, we can make it more sensitive and this is pretty wide spectrum here we can also easily go back to the auto ISO again by tapping on this button with manual here so now it comes back to the auto the next one option here uh, is the shooter speed so here we can change the time of taking picture and as you can see we have also this slider and we can pick from 1 and 12 thousands of seconds so this is really short this is better to objects that are in move uh, so to frozen them and by going to the right we can get the time of shooting longer to the 30 seconds so this is really long and this is better to objects that are stable also let me draw your attention for a minute to this button here this is the next one option when we have this turn it on manually uh, the next one option is locked so for some reasons the exporter compensation which is here is not compatible with the shooter speed so remember about this so to unlock this we can go back to the auto settings here by tapping on this again and now we have access to the exposure compensation so here we can also adjust the light of the picture and by go using the slider going to the left we can make it more dark by going to the right we can make it more bright so this is how it works here now let's move to the next one button this is the focusing so here we can change the autofocus to the manual focus and we can focus in manually like that this is how it works here we can also go back to the autofocus by tapping again on the settings here, but for now let me stay for example here. The next one button is the white balance, so here we can control the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees, as you can see by using the slider and going to the left we can make it more cold, and by going to the right we can make it more warm, so this is how it works. Of course we can go back easily to the auto white balance separately by tapping on this uh, button again and here we are in the auto so for now let me make it for example more warm and let's go to the standard settings as you can see by tapping on this we get access to the uh, other sliders and this is really cool in the Samsung uh, device that we have this so these are really pro settings usually used in the graphic programs after taking the picture here we can get this before we take it and we can adjust the tint so the balance between the green and pink so this is how it works here we can adjust also the contrast like that we can pick the saturation of the colors so this is how it works we can make it more sensitive uh, more saturate or less sens less saturate so uh, sorry uh, so black and white picture we can adjust also the highlights this is how it works and the shadows so this is really cool that we have this this is kind of creation of the filter we can create our own hands and when we want to go back to the auto settings here we can do it by just tapping on the reset here and all of this came back to the auto so we can start from the beginning so let's go back now uh, to the settings and let me show you one option uh, which is extra so i've show you that we can go back to the auto settings separately in these buttons as you can see here but when we adjust it manually all of this 
to get uh, back to the auto settings we don't have to tap on separately this uh, all of these buttons we can just slide a little bit to the left and here we have button with reset so when we tap on this all of this came back to the auto so this is really cool that we have this and now let's focus on this button here in the right corner by tapping on this we can pick also the metering we can pick center weighted metering matrix metering and the spot metering also now let's go to the left corner by tapping on this we can open the advanced camera settings as you can see a lot of them is locked because they are only available in the standard photo mode but uh, let me focus on the save options by tapping on this we can pick the rough copies so by using this button we can turn on the rough format and turn it off so when we have this we can uh, get pictures in the jpeg and the rough uh, format this is really cool because uh, the rough format is used by professional photographers to saving more details in the picture and post-producting them in the graphic programs so this is really pro, pro and good to know that we have this and now let's go back to the pro mode and for example let me take a picture so for example let me make it more warm let me pick this on the green one adjust the contrast and more saturate let's focus on the ISO now should be enough and tap on this we can take a picture and here in the left corner we get quick access to the gallery so this is the picture i've taken and that's all thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up